The Nancy Roman Space Telescope, set to launch in the mid-2020s, is NASA's next big leap in the search for exoplanets. Unlike Kepler and TESS, which primarily use the transit method, Roman will specialize in two different techniques gravitational microlensing, and direct imaging, allowing us to detect planets that other telescopes might miss. Gravitational microlensing relies on Einstein's theory of general relativity. When a massive object like a star or a planet passes in front of a more distant star, it bends and magnifies the star's light like a cosmic magnifying glass. If a planet is orbiting the foreground star, the gravity adds an extra blip in the magnification pattern. Roman will scan the dense star fields of the Milky Way, particularly towards the galactic center, capturing these microlensing events. This method is especially powerful for finding rogue planets, which are planets that drift through space without an orbiting star. But Roman isn't just limited to microlensing. It will also feature a coronagraph, a sophisticated instrument designed to block out the overwhelming glare of a star that allows for direct imaging of exoplanets and this technique will help astronomers study exoplanet atmospheres in super good detail they detect elements like water vapor and methane which are key indicators for the search for habitable worlds so by combining these methods nancy grace roman space telescope will expand our understanding of planetary systems and potentially discovering thousands of new exoplanets, including those in the outer regions of the solar system, something previous missions have really struggled to do. And with the Roman Telescope, we might just see how common Earth-like planets really are.